If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA 16 coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETONI to get 5% off. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another player review. We're going to be looking at Info Marshall who looks completely insane. I'm really looking forward to telling you about him and I have to say he could potentially be the next big thing and I think... Um, actually, what do you guys think in the comment section below? Do you guys think it's too early to judge him or... Or do you think he could potentially be the next big thing? Anyway, um, I did buy him for around 100k, so he is going for quite a bit of coinage right at the beginning of the game. And he isn't extinct, uh, and I, I find that quite surprising. I thought he would be extinct for quite a while, but since EA has upped his price range quite a bit, it seems like he is available on the market instantly to buy. Anyway, if you guys are looking for a cheap place to get PSN cards or Microsoft points, check the link in the description. This is the opening week of FIFA 16, best time to open packs and sell your players for very high prices. So in full martial, I have to say, I tried them out and some of his stats don't really add up. First of all, he is pretty fast. I uh, really like how fast he was in the game. Even though pace isn't that bad, I mean, isn't that great anymore, I still felt he was pretty uh, pretty fast in the game. And he was agile, even though with yeah, with 77 agility, I thought he, he was pretty agile. With good dribbling as well, he has 81 dribbling on his card stats, but he was able to dribble past defenders very easily. You will see that in the clips. And one thing about him that I really enjoyed, and I say this about every player, but just the strength in this game is very very important and with him even though in his in-game stats it says like he has uh, his strength is somewhere in the 70s he felt a lot stronger than that he also has that four star weak foot which is amazing because you could always try and finish with his left foot in the in the penalty area now when it comes down to his cons i'll have to say the three star skills is never great on a striker and his shooting was pretty bad i mean if you're trying to get long shots in you won't. And if you're trying to finish in a penalty area, even though you'll see clips where he finishes from really impossible angles, some of the, sometimes he just misses the easiest goals I've ever seen. And he just misses he just misses sitters sometimes. Um, finishing is very, very inconsistent with him, in my opinion. I felt he wasn't really reliable in the penalty area, and that is my biggest problem with him. Even though he's an inform, I feel, I think that high finishing strikers in this game, in this year's FIFA, is going to be the most important attribute in the striker. And with 82 finishing, even though that's not too bad, I just felt he was inconsistent in the penalty area. And even though you can't really take advantage of his shooting outside the penalty area as well, because his shot power is quite low, and his long shot, his long shot stat is somewhere in the 60s, this is nowhere near like FIFA. 15 where anyone can score long shots anymore you need really high shooting stats to score those long shots which is pretty good because that means the high rated players are actually decent now but um, that's all there is to it he was a decent player i wouldn't say he was amazing or anything like that he was decent um he was fast agile good dribbling with good positioning i really like that about him and the four star weak foot it makes him a decent player but if you can't handle uh, a player that's inconsistent in the penalty area or someone that only has three-star skills and he can't get you those long shots, I wouldn't really recommend him. But he's decent and there is a lot of hype around him and he might be a good investment in case he does something in real life and you guys want to make some profit. So that's all there is to it for this uh, play review. Make sure you hit the like button. Let me know if you think he's going to be the next big thing in the comment section below and hope you guys have a very nice day.